Hey guys, we got a Tabata type of workout today with 30 second work intervals, 10 second rest intervals, 10 exercises. The first thing I did here was warm up for about 10 minutes. I decided to do jump rope, but you could do anything you want to get your heart rate up and get a little bit sweaty. I'm going to show two rounds of the workout that I did. You can do it as many times as you want to. I repeated it until my workout had reached an hour. I'm going to show each of the exercises and a few options for modifications here and there with them. Each will just be shown for a few seconds. The first exercise is going to be speed skaters. If you want to make this easier, your feet will go closer together and you'll leap a little farther apart if you want it harder. The second exercise is called front kick plank change. You could also do a mountain climber, staying down in a plank position and just alternating knees, pulling in towards your chest if you want to change that. Then we have high knees running. You could do standing alternating knee lifts, pulling your knees up, arms pulling down as an alternate if you don't want to jump. And then tricep dips. I'm alternating my knees here, but you don't need to do that. If you want it easier, you'll have both feet closer to the chair, pop squats, you don't need to have the jump with those if you choose not to. Next one is dive bomber burpees. You can do the push up from your knees if you'd like to. You can also just leave out the dive bomber. Some people don't like that. Then of course there's jumping jacks. Those are pretty basic, but some people don't like to jump. So you can just alternate legs reaching out to the side with the jumping jack arms. And then we have the spinal balance burpees. You don't need to jump with these, you can just alternate arm and opposite legs, reaching up. Then we have the pike push-ups. You want your toes to face each other and your fingers and hands to face each other. Your knees can be more bent if you need those a little easier. The last one is the tuck jump squats. You don't have to jump on these. You can just do a squat with your arms reaching out in front as a counterbalance. So I just have a little bit longer to show of my warm up. Again, I warmed up for about 10 minutes. It's a good amount of time. Usually at least six minutes is a good amount of time. So the exercises are soon to start. You will hear a little ding or a bell that will indicate the start and stop of each segment. Get ready for the first exercise. It's gonna be those speed skaters. job. The next exercise is the front kick plank change or just the mountain climbers if you're not going to jump. Awesome work. Next we have the high knees running.
right, we're on to those tricep dips next. Squats coming up right now. Excellent. Next we have the dive bomber burpees. So you go down to plank, push up, dive bomb, jump in and jump up. Remember you can always do your push ups from your knees. Next we have the jumping jacks. the spinal balance burpees. So you're going to go down to plank, lift one arm and the opposite leg, change sides, jump in and jump up. getting ready for the pike push-ups. Remember your fingers and toes face each other. Keep your legs straight, but bend them if you must. Next we have the tuck jump squat. A lot of people don't like to jump on these. It is intense. You can leave out the jump and just do the squats. So we've reached the end of the set. I decided to do another just one minute of jump rope, but you can rest the entire minute. If 
you want to. And then I repeated this. As I mentioned, I did it for an hour, so I repeated it quite a few times. But I'm gonna show two, so if you wanna just do two, you're gonna be able to watch the whole thing coming up. for round two, the first exercise is those speed skaters. Front kick plank change is coming up. Remember you can do just the front kicks if you want or the mountain climber. killing it. Great work. Next is the high knees running or alternating knees while you're standing. Get ready for the tricep dips now. Here we go with the pop squats. Remember, you can just do squats and lift up to your toes. You don't have to jump. Time for the dive bomber burpees. That sounds much worse than they really are. They're awesome. They're fun.
jumping jacks are next. But remember, you can just lift one leg out to the side and jumping jack arms and trade legs. Final balance burpees. close to the end of what I'm going to show here. So we got the pike push-ups coming up. These are kind of like doing an overhead press with weights when you don't have any weights. So we have gravity working against our body weight. Looky here, it's exercise 10, the tuck jump squats. They're intense, they're awesome. Well, unless you're gonna do more rounds. Then you'll just save that congratulations for a few more minutes. Hope you have a great workout, and I'm glad that you tuned in and worked out with me.